Welcome into the Ravens Rundown, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Appreciate you joining us. Today's show is sponsored by Mint Mobile, with plans starting at just $15 a month on America's largest 5G network. You can sign up now at mintmobile.com slash chat sports. Today's show, we will go over the latest Baltimore Ravens news and rumors as we'll dive into a trade for Roquan Smith, possibly also look ahead to the preseason matchup on Thursday night with the Tennessee Titans. Let's start with the idea of trading for Roquan Smith. CBS Sports has named the Ravens as Smith's number one trade destination. An interesting possibility for a all-pro caliber player who's still very young in his career at this point and could fill a need for the Ravens. Here's what Tyler Sullivan of CBS Sports had to say. While many may be overlooking Baltimore heading into 2022 due to the 8-9 and nine campaign from a year ago, that was largely due to the onslaught of injuries they faced. Now that they're back to full strength across the roster, this is a dark horse team that could make some serious noise in the AFC. Offensively, they have an MVP caliber quarterback in Lamar Jackson and boast plenty of star power on defense, but are a bit thin at middle linebacker. 32-year-old Josh Bynes is, clear, is, is currently in line to be the team's starting middle linebacker after starting 12 games for them last year and re-signing with the club this offseason. Smith not only would be an instant upgrade, but he'd be an answer for them for the foreseeable future. Sullivan went on to write, as an aside, Smith could also pick up the mantle left by Ray Lewis and be Baltimore's next great middle linebacker, which is in a similar vein to what he enjoyed about playing in Chicago with their long history of linebackers. Similar to New England, however, the Ravens would need to massage their books to make this work a bit. So, how about that? Interesting. The idea of bringing Worldquan Smith in to play linebacker for the Ravens. What do you think? Here's your chance to be the GM here on Ravens Rundown. Let me know in the comments section. You might get an ad break. If the ad's playing, take advantage of it and get your votes in. Let me know one way or the other. If you would trade for Roquan Smith, if so, type Y for yes. If not, then type in for no. Let me know in the comments section below. Let's tell you more about Roquan Smith. This week he requested a trade from the Chicago Bears, and he is a two-time second-team All-Pro player there with Chicago, and he's been good since his rookie year. An all-rookie team member, according to the Pro Football Writers Association, when he was drafted back in 2018, a former top-10 pick. Roquan Smith has been terrific so far throughout his early stages of his career, and when I look at the numbers of Roquan Smith, I don't think they necessarily tell the full story of what he's capable of. We saw last year in 2021, he had 163 tackles, three sacks, 12 tackles for loss in no force fumbles, but you look at that Bears defense last year, they were so bad that he was finding himself having to, to do everything and taking on a lot of double teams of sorts. You put him on this Ravens defense, those numbers could be much better, I think, which they weren't bad through his first four seasons by any stretch, but he could take even another step up potentially with this Ravens defense. We'll show you their depth chart in just one moment of what the Ravens bring to the table. Here's what we're talking about right now. As you can see, Patrick Queen, Malik Harrison there, uh, Adafi Owe, Tyus Bowser, there's a lot of potential with this group, but if you add Roquan Smith to this bunch, then you're talking about taking this defense, this linebacking core, to a whole nother level potentially. That's the type of impact player Roquan Smith could be, but like with all things in life, it all depends on the price tag for me with Roquan Smith. The Ravens are in a position, cap space just over $8 million, that you have to be a little careful of what you do and, and looking at your draft capital and a lot of other factors here. I just don't know without knowing the price tag right away if it's worth it for the Ravens to make this move or not. He is a high-quality player, and he would make this defense better, but I don't know. It just depends on what that price tag is, and that remains to be seen at this point. So we'll continue to follow this story and Maybe he'll end up in Baltimore when it's all said and done. Today's show is sponsored by Mint Mobile. Even your mom might be 
asking you to stop calling so much with the deals that are so good with Mint Mobile right now, folks. You can have a plan starting at just $15 a month with unlimited talk, text, data on America's largest 5G network. Get your mobile hotspot as well. Quite the deal that Ryan Reynolds' is com- company is offering. And I got a proposal for you right here, folks. $15 a month. You're not going to find a better deal than anywhere else than right here with Mint Mobile. MintMobile.com slash chat sports. It's a deal that we're offering just for viewers of the Ravens Rundown. Check it out now, and you'll be glad you did. MintMobile.com slash chat sports. America's largest 5G network with plans starting at just $15 a month. Let's shift gears now and look ahead to the preseason game with the Titans coming up on Thursday night. And, you know, there's a lot of things that intrigue me about this preseason game. I know that we're not going to see a lot of guys for the Ravens, but nonetheless, there's still a lot to gain, I think, from this preseason game for Baltimore. And we can't talk about the preseason without mentioning the Ravens' great history when it comes to the preseason. A reminder of sorts, I'm sure most of you know, but just in case, the Ravens have not lost a preseason game since 2015. A 20-0 record dating back to 2016. An impressive accomplishment. I know it's the preseason and not a lot of people care about the wins and losses, but if you've gone that long (laughs) of winning that many preseason games, you're doing something right. And that's what we've seen from John Harbaugh and company over the years with winning 20 in a row. We'll see if they can make it 21 in a row on Thursday night. We'll dive into some of the details of this preseason game with Tennessee in just a moment, but I want to hear from you guys. What do you want to see from the Ravens against the Titans? What would be a successful night for this Baltimore Ravens team? Let me know in the comments section below some of the things that you're watching for in that preseason game, some specifics. There's no wrong answers here. Let me know in the comments section what you would like to see from your Ravens in this preseason week one matchup. We'll have post-game coverage of the Ravens and Titans here on the channel. We'll wrap things up, give you all my thoughts and breakdowns from this preseason matchup. And we'll be covering training camp, of course, as it continues to go on right here on the Ravens Rundown. If you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now, youtube.com slash Ravens TV. And this week, we are in the midst of a sub-battle with Titans today. And I got to tell you, Titans today, that's not even a real channel. I mean, they they don't have a full-time host. I mean, they they got those bums, Tom Downey and Will Scott, you know, just hanging out and doing their thing, trying to pretend to be Titans fans or whatever. But nonetheless, uh, let's show them who the real ones are here on Ravens Rundown. Subscribe to the channel now if you love the Ravens. Can't get beat by those Titans. We are behind them in new subs this week. Let's play a little catch-up and beat Titans today. Subscribe now, youtube.com slash Ravens TV. So, who is not playing for the Ravens in this matchup with the Titans? It would include Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews, Marlon Humphrey, Justin Houston, and Marcus Williams. Those five guys all will not play, and that's perfectly fine with me. There's no need for those guys to play. They've already proven how good they are. But then... Another thing to look at is the injury factor with the Baltimore Ravens. And there are 10 guys you can see on the list, actually eight guys rather, on the list that uh, will not be playing. And we don't necessarily know when all of them will return. In the case of Vince Beagle, he's out for the season with that Achilles injury. But you can see this team is really banged up right now with the Injuries that they've suffered, and we're only, what, two weeks into camp at this point? Now, some guys are coming back from previous injuries that were suffered before training camp, but nonetheless, this team is really banged up right now. So, for me, when I look at keys to the game, the first of those being is stay healthy, seriously. I mean, we've seen this Ravens team already deal with a plethora of injuries. You don't need any more to stack up. So the number one goal from this preseason game is just to come out ahead and be be healthy. Don't need to add any more injuries to what you already have. The other thing I'd like to see is for the Ravens to throw the ball a bit. Let those wideouts eat. You know, you look at this Ravens receiving core, and a lot of unproven guys. We've talked about that a lot on this channel. 
And what you want to see is those guys take advantage of the opportunity, get those opportunities. Tyler Huntley and company, let them throw the football and see what those guys can do if they can get into open space. Also, with the uncertainty on the offensive line for the Ravens right now, too, I'd like to see the Ravens experiment. Try some things out and see what works because you have questions with Tyler Linderbaum, uh, whether Jawan James is the answer at left tackle or not. See what works and what doesn't work. This is the perfect time to try things and see what you like, what works and doesn't in the preseason and live game action. So those are the things that I'd like to see. My keys to the game for the Ravens coming up on Thursday night against Tennessee. Before we go, give me a prediction for the preseason game with the Titans. Score prediction, can the Ravens make it 21 in a row? Let me know in the comment section your prediction for the preseason game with the Titans. We'll see you later on this week with postgame coverage as we continue to cover the Ravens here on the Ravens Rundown. Thanks for joining us.